There have been members in the community wondering if you can connect the Vifocus Vision to the Index controllers. And you absolutely can. Let me show you how. Let's first take a look at all the equipment that you need, as well as the software in order to make this all work. For the hardware, you'll want the Vifocus Vision, plus the controllers that come with the Vifocus Vision. The Valve Index controllers, of course. One Vive Tracker 3.0 or 2.0, depending on what you have or want to get. I recommend the 3.0s, they're personally my favorite. And you'll want three dongles plugged in, one for your tracker and one for each index controller. A safe way to attach the tracker to your Focus Vision. My way's not the best. And 2.0 base stations, which I highly recommend over the 1.0 base stations. For your software, you'll want the Vive Hub, Steam VR, and Open Space Calibrator. Since Focus Vision uses inside out tracking and the onboard cameras to understand your play space, the index controllers use outside in tracking and rely on lighthouses. We're gonna have to learn how to make them communicate with each other. Step number one will be to download the Open Space Calibrator. This is a software that's been developed by a third party source. It allows you to mix and match different VR devices with Steam VR. Do note that HTC Vive is not directly involved with the developers of Open Space Calibrator, meaning that support for our headsets is not directly controlled by us. Now for downloading Open VR Space Calibrator, once you go to the link I am going to leave you, we can scroll down and go to install the latest release, that link here, and then we'll download the EXE. So go ahead and click that. Once you have the EXE downloaded, we can double click that and open it, and then we'll install it onto our main drive. And now it's completed, we can just click close, and then you're good to go. Step two is to strap your tracker to your headset. Make sure your base stations are set up. I'm using the 2.0 base stations for this setup. After they're plugged in and working, you'll need to plug in your dongles into a 3.0 USB port. Just a heads up, 3.0 USB slots are always blue. Now that that's done, you can use the ankle track strap. I'm gonna be using one from Rebuff Reality to wrap around the top strap of my Vive Focus Vision. To be honest, this is not the most efficient way to connect the headset to the tracker, but in a pinch, it'll do. And if you have any cool solutions, feel free to drop a comment below and let me know what you use or what you might consider using. Also, before we move on to step three, please consider dropping a like on this video because otherwise YouTube might start to think that I have no friends and start giving me ads for friendship bracelets. And I may have already gotten one, so please don't let this collection grow. <laughs> Step number three is to connect your Vive Focus Vision to your PC. Turn on the Vive Focus Vision along with your controllers, download the Vive Hub, which I'll leave a link again for that in the description. The Vive Hub will allow you to connect your Vive Focus Vision to your PC and to Steam VR. So I'm gonna show you how to download Vive Hub because there's a bit of steps and things you have to go through. So we'll click download for Windows or for Mac, depending on what you're using. And then you'll open that EXE and it's going to take a while to prepare. So now is another good time to pet your cat do some laundry, something like that. I don't know. Let me see if we can get my cat. Momo, come here. We got him. Hello. There's three different options here that you can look at. So the first one is Vive Streaming. If you have a Vive Streaming cable to reach 120 hertz, which I highly recommend if you do intense VR, PC VR gaming. Vive Streaming you'll want. Vive Desk is really cool. It's a, actually a mixed reality way to be able to see your desktop. So it's a very great productivity app, which I highly recommend. And then the Vive Ultimate Trackers are a way to get full body tracking with the Vive Focus Vision as well. I have all three of these, so we're gonna have all those checked. You can just click them to uncheck them if you don't want them. And then we'll click Agree, and I'm gonna download it to my main drive. We'll let that install. All right, once your installation was completed successfully, we can click Finish. And then this is my first time setting it up. Actually, I've set it up like a lot of times. <laughs> so it doesn't know, it's lying to me. Okay, select device type. This is a headset that we're setting up. You can use the XR Elite, of course. I'm using the Vive Focus Vision, and this is just giving you more information on the display port, Wi-Fi, all that stuff. We can just click Next. Next, next, good to go. And I'm just gonna X out the Vive streaming setup because we don't need that right now. So we're just looking for this setup here and then we're gonna hop over to our headset to connect the headset to Vive Hub. You'll go to library, connect to your computer. Make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your PC on your as on your headset. Okay, and we can see it here up here and we're gonna click on that. And then it should have a scan, a QR code. Okay, great, that's checked. We're good to go. And now you can go back to the library and launch Steam VR. And that should launch your open space calibrator as well. That being said, make sure that you have Steam VR downloaded and installed onto your PC as well. Step four, calibrate your headset and your tracker. All right, so everything's gonna launch here. Make sure you're connected. You can see that everything is connected here on the Vive Hub. When these icons are lit up, Steam VR is running. Great. And we have open space calibrator as well. Amazing. So now this is the time when you can turn on 
take off your headset and you can turn on the Vive 3.0 tracker. My hair is going crazy right now. <laughs> okay, and now the light is on for the Vive 3.0 trackers. And now in Open Space Calibrator, we're gonna click the Vive Focus Vision on the reference space and in the target space, the 3.0 tracker. And then you'll wanna select between fast, slow, and very slow. I'm just gonna do slow, but I recommend very slow if you want the most accurate tracking. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my controllers and I'm gonna go ahead and put them down here on my coffee table. And that's the regular Vive controllers. And we're also gonna turn our index controllers on. So we're gonna let that go. Green, great. And then we're gonna let this one go. Green, great. Okay, I'm gonna also place these on my coffee. I want them to be mostly in range of both of my lighthouses. And we're gonna click start calibration and I'm just gonna go ahead and start moving this in a figure eight direction in front of my lighthouses. And you're just gonna keep doing this for a little while. Great, well it's still going, woo! Great, okay that's done. Now we can put headset back on. Now I'll pick up my index controllers and I'm just gonna hop in to VR chat. You can hop into whatever game. Once you're in VR chat, make sure to go to your settings and scroll all the way down and turn off allow full body tracking, FBT, unless you're using full body tracking along with the tracker that's tracking your headset. So now you can see we have index control. Wah, 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 wah. You will need to do this setup every single time you play. Now, if you don't already have full body tracking, this is one of the next ways you can bring your immersion to even greater levels. I recommend the Vive Ultimate trackers, which is compatible with the Focus Vision, along with the face tracker, so then you can get face tracking and full body tracking, plus your index controllers. It's literally the best setup anybody could ask for. But if you're interested in learning more about the Ultimate trackers, make sure to check out this video next.